Tuesday night baseball now from the home of the Indians. Progressive field here in Cleveland. Tonight, the first of two in this interleague matchup between the Cincinnati Reds and the Cleveland Indians. Cincinnati attempt to end a six-game losing streak. Next. Kristen McKenzie, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you take a look at this guy's number. One of the things that jumps out at you is that ERA. It's into the fours. But that doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of pitcher this guy is. If he brings his A game, he can shut anybody down. The problem he's had so far this season, he's been a little bit inconsistent. He's a better pitcher than that ERA over the fours indicates. Fellas, we check out the tribe as they begin here tonight. They've had it going the last 10 games. They're 7 and 3 over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager exactly. wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Bases are empty. One man out. Swung on and missed. One and two now. That's a well-placed fastball right there. Just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Batting third. Ready now for Cincinnati. Jesse Winker. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Just underway here in Cleveland. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he oh, hang on now. This ball is deep down the line in right. It looks to have the distance, and it's fair. A home run. A solo shot down the line in right. 19th home run for him on the season. As the Reds strike first, it's one to nothing. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly just like that. They take the lead. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. One of the better hitters in the game this year, currently seventh in the National League batting race. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average, without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. Sliced hard but foul. Looking for the strikeout, here's the one two. Bases are empty here with two men out. This is foul right side. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Dominguez gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. But the Reds hit the scoreboard first on this solo homer. Bottom of the first coming up from Progressive Field. It's now 1-0 Reds. Luis Castillo will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Matt, we're getting a look at one of the best right-handed change-ups in the game of baseball. This guy's change-up so good, that being Castillo, he'll use it as his primary off-speed pitch. If he's throwing strikes with his heater, look out if he has that change-up working. It'll be a long day for the hitters. And 
And stepping in, Jose Ramirez. It's been a big season for him in the power department, closing in on a home run title. Yeah, he's certainly in line for a home run title, but what I love about this guy is the slugging percentages through the roof. He's leading the league in that category as well. You know, interesting, in spring training, I had a chance to talk to him, and all he told me was, if you want to slug, we'll slug, and he's slugging. The 2-1 home. Castillo has racked up over 800 innings in his big league career and through those innings he's worked to a whip under 1.20 league average is around 1.3 so that's a respectable number. The three and one pitch comes with the fastball but it's outside for ball four. Well there's only a one run person to play with so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here go ahead run comes to the plate and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. Looks like they're trying to be aggressive on the base pass in order to get that run back to give up at the top of the first. I like that, especially early in the game, so we'll see if they can drive him in now. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. But this is tanking in on the warning track as the runner will tag from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Time now in Cleveland to take a glance at the tribe's starting lineup. Dan Plesak, who are you focused on? Look, man, everybody should be looking at the guy in the three spot. Like, this guy is a career 300 hitter. You talk about consistent. He delivers a good at bat and clutch hits basically every time he walks into the box. I love watching this guy. And here he is, right on cue. Into center field, line drive base hit. And the run will come in to score from third as that'll knock things up at one apiece. You'll only see about 10 of these pitches a year. The change up on a tee in the middle of the plate, but tip your hat to the batter right there. He did not come unglued, stayed within himself, and drove it for a base hit. At the plate, Fran Moreas. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Defense has got to be on their toes right here. Three two count. Runner on first has got some serious wheels. You know he's probably being put in motion. Now the payoff pitch home. High in the air out to center field. Nick one's under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Batting fifth. The left fielder, Eddie. Now at the plate, here is Eddie Rosario. Comes into this one ranked number six in the American League home run race. Yeah, and he's really put together a great season in the power categories. I know it's not over yet, but I'm excited to see how he finishes down the stretch. Dero, what's been amazing to me is how consistent he's been through the beginning of the season and that where we're at right now. Expect him to finish the season strong. He's having a terrific year. The one two drill down the line. And that's through for a hit. Now a long throw to third. Throw won't get him. Hey, Dero, are you aware of this? After that knock right there, that's an 11-game hitting streak. You think he knows it's at 11? I think he knows exactly that it's at 11. It starts off innocent. You just want to get a few knocks to get the hitting coach off your back. Next thing you know, you wake up, you've been sleeping easy for almost a week, eight days. Now we're on 11. This guy's dinner tastes different. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. All even now, two and two. Oh. 
hot shot down the line. And this ought to play the couple as this ball's down for extra bases. One run is in. Throw comes to second. One team's dream inning is another team's nightmare, right? That's their third hit of this opening inning. This one a double. That's got to have the pitcher pretty upset out there and the manager wondering how long he's going to go in this one. Standing in now, Brett Phillips. A ball and two strikes. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out to early lead, so this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning, they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. The one-two. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And that ends the inning. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. Second inning coming up from Progressive Field. The Tribe lead this one 3-1. to one. New inning set to get underway, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Joey Votto. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. One, ball, two one and two now. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Struck him out. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you could spot your pitches there and advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. Striding forward now is the DH, Mike Mustakis. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Mike Mustakis goes down for out number two in the top half. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Phillips able to track it down for the third out. One, two, three, go the Reds. Score holds, it's three to one. So here is Cesar Hernandez. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. The one, one. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. The relay, and he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. This thing had a chance to get out of here as it headed deep to left center, but it stays in the park, banging high off the wall. The runner has to play in front of him, so he sees they're going to have some trouble getting it back in, and he motors round second into third for the triple. Into the box, Austin Hedges. Skied in the air to straightaway left. The catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And tack on one more, make it a four to one lead. Great job of offensive execution there. Lead off triple, and then the sack fly to bring home a run. So the Indians lineup flips over and to the plate, Jose Ramirez. Base is empty and one away following the sack fly. The one two. One out, nobody on. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Up next, right Jason fielder. Dominguez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1 home. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So one run here on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base.
We'll go now to the top of the third. Cleveland's out in front, four to one. Top of the third set to get underway, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Tyler Naquin. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Flipped out the other way towards short. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with one away for him here in the inning, let's take a quick look at the standings, and you can see that these guys pretty much have the division in hand to this point in the season. So one gone now in the Cincinnati third and next to bat will be Tucker Barnhart. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes so it's two up two down to begin the third. So it's back to the top of the order now and with Merrifield will dig in at the plate. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Leonardo Rivas would be next. Pops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. Hernandez will put this one away and the side is retired. Reds are down in order. They trail it four to one. So now here is Patrick Connolly. He singled in his first A.B. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here he comes again, 1-2. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Now batting, the designated hitter, Rodmir. So next, it'll be the four-hole hitter for the Tribe, Fran Moreyes. 0 for 1 here in the early going. 4 to 1's our score here in inning number 3. Fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Hit hard to third. Throw gets him two down. Now batting. The left fielder, Eddie Rosario. Next to dig in, Eddie Rosario. He doubled his last time up. The 1-1. Hit in the air down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Super important situation right here for the pitcher to go 1-2-3. Get back in the dugout, regroup. He struggled early, but if he can knock out this 1-2-3 inning... And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Indians go down 1-2-3, but they lead it 4-1. to one. All set for the start of the fourth. And next will be the first-year shortstop, Leonardo Rivas. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Here comes the one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Racing back the right fielder, and goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game. And the Reds get a touch closer here. It's now a 4-2 score. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. 
Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. So now to the plate, Nicholas Castellanos. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Well, when you're going as well as he is, not even a two-strike count is going to get in your way. Yeah, Matty, he's having a monster season, well over 300. Right there, when you're feeling that confident at the plate, it doesn't matter what the count is. You're willing to go deep and still feel confident. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Hit out towards second. To second for one. Relay to Bell. The double play. And that's how the inning ends. One for the Reds in the inning, and it comes courtesy of this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Indians four and the Reds two. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with manager Terry Francona during the break about his thoughts on the Indians' hitters to this point. And one thing he mentioned is how well they're doing it, simply putting the ball in play. We looked into the numbers, and as a team, they've had a contact rate of over 85% in this game, meaning that when they swing the bat, they're missing the ball less than 15% of the time. To put that into context, the very best teams in baseball usually are right around 80% for an entire season. So at least for today, they're just playing an amazing ability to put wood to ball. All right, Heidi, thank you. The 1-1 home. Lifted the other way out to left center. Naquin's on the move, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. The center fielder, number 35, Brett Phillips. Brett Phillips will bat next. Struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. High in the air out to center field. Nick Wooden's under it. And that's the second out of the inning. And now in the box, Cesar Hernandez. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. The Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. Not quite out of here. It's off the out of town scoreboard. And he is in the second with a two out double. This right here is the difference the between an average hitter 17. and a very good hitter. Off the average hitter probably doesn't do anything with that pitch, but this guy goes down and gets it, muscling it to the outfield for an extra base hit. the plate now Austin Hedges and this one's in the dirt good job there as the count goes to one and two some action out in the bullpen couple of right handers starting to loosen up the one two lofted in the air out toward right center right fielder giving chase he's there to track it down and that'll end the inning so they can't make anything out of the two out double don't go anywhere more Tuesday night baseball after this welcome back to progressive field in Cleveland as we send it down to Heidi Watney Matt, I had a chance to talk about the state of the Reds' offense with their manager between innings, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. 
All right, Heidi, thank you. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And up next, the former World Series hero, Mike Moustakas. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Pulled toward right center field. Phillips is on his horse. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The third baseman, number six, Jonathan India. Jonathan India digging in now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting, the center fielder, Tyler Naquin. So here's Tyler Naquin. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number 5. And he struck him out his 7th of the ball game, and that ends the inning. 1-2-3 go the Reds. They trail it here 4-2. Stepping in once again is Jose Ramirez as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. <laughs> to two balls and two strikes now. Swing by Ramirez, and this one soaring to right field. Gone! Solo shot to right center, and he keeps it up. 53 now on the year, and just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. In now, Jason Dominguez. Hit hard on the ground towards second. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. The batter number eight. Good and now here is Patrick Connolly. One run in and one gone so far at this inning. Now the three and two pitch. Wow, this one bounces off the pitcher. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. And time now to see now quite that, where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field there confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first. And digging in now, Fran Reyes. Connolly stands at first with one out. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Hot shot to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Heck of a job by the batter right there. You would have thought he bought himself a fastball. He gets an off-speed pitch, doesn't try and do too much, and drives it for a base hit. Here comes the red skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. 
And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Jimmy Nelson takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. At the plate, Eddie Rosario. Now a good take here as he misses for a ball, and it's 2-1 and one now to the Cleveland left fielder. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Five runs, eight hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Fouled away. Three two pitch is at the knees and called strike three. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in Double scoring three, position. Three, three. Those are the times three. you really want to see yeah. a guy battle and at least put yeah. the ball in play. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble three and one. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. The three one. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. And he gets there, makes the running play, and that ends the inning. Indians strike for one on this solo homer. We're through five innings here tonight. It's now 5-2 Cleveland. set for the start of the inning and next to bat will be Tucker Barnhart. And it's fouled away. The one two. And he's able to stay alive here as the fouls tipped right off the catcher's grill and that'll ring in the ears a bit. Another one sent foul. He'll try again, one, two. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Well, you could tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full Second advantage base. of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. The 2-1 home. Too high. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. And a full count now, three and two. Grounder down the line at third. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Now batting the shortstop. Leonardo into the box now Leonardo Rivas got him and that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one what's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today Dan that was his third tonight and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days yeah Matt there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today a lot of guys think now that an out is an out a strikeout is just as good as a regular out but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now Jesse Winker stands in looking for home run number three right here as you see what he's done so far in this one count even at two and two. From the belt kicks and deals he's running. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Merrifield, the 
runner at first with two gone. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Reds leave one, and the deficit remains five to two. Bottom of the inning now, and next it'll be the outfielder, Brett Phillips. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. Hit hard on the ground to second. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Into the box, Cesar Hernandez. A dive, and he knocks it down. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads-up play. The catcher, number 17, Austin Hedges. Runner at second, one away, and Austin Hedges will be the next to hit. 5-2 is our score here in inning number six. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Swing and a liner. That's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jose Ramirez comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Well, you don't see this very often, Matty B. A two strike straight changeup. But this guy changeup is one of the best in the league. We'll see if he tries that different approach this time and maybe if he gets to two. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. The 1 1 home. High in the air out to center field. Nick Wooden's under it. And that retires the side. Indians strand a couple, and it remains 5 to 2. Andrew Miller lead. is on to pitch from the now bullpen now to start inning number 7. Number 24, Andrew Miller. Seventh inning ready to roll, and the right handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. Here now the 2 2. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. It's a swinging bunt up the line. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. And a step off. The 2-1 home. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder, and everything went with it. Full count now. Good battle. Count remains full. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And it's another K. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. The battle. The At the plate now is the designated Mike. hitter, Mike Mustakis. Lifetime against Andrew Miller. He's a 333 hitter. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. 
Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Reds are down in order. They trail 5-2. Digging in will be Patrick Connolly. He'll get it started against Jimmy Nelson as we get the inning underway. The 1 1. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Going back is the right fielder. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Solo shot to right center. So a milestone here. And even 50 home runs on the year now as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. You know what? If this guy didn't have the MVP wrapped up already, he certainly does now. That's his 50th home run of the year. He's already reached that mark in stolen bases. That puts him in the 50-50 club. We're watching history here, folks. Standing in now, Fran Moreas. And they bunch him up inside as this is pushed foul off to the right. And it's one and two now. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he's going to make it. He gets into second base with a hustle double. Man, I thought for sure we were going to see back-to-back -back jacks right there. Well, when you serve up pitches like that, Matty, you know these hitters are going to put some good swings on them. And that's what happens here as he blasts this thing. The last two hitters have really set the stage. Yeah, so now we'll see if the next guy can keep this train rolling. Riley O'Brien comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Late now, Eddie Rosario. And this is on the ground for Merrifield at second. And there's one away. The first baseman, number 23, Josh Bell. One out now for the Indians in their seventh. And digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. Reyes stands at third with one gone in the inning. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw will be to first for the second out, but meanwhile, another run is in to score. And here with the infield back, they were giving him the run on the ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. This one's flared toward left center. Rivas is there, and the inning is over. Another good inning here for the Indians. Hey, fun times in Cleveland again. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Ready to begin the eighth and in to swing the bat next is Jonathan India. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. With that, we'll give you a look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers in the game. And the column to look at is the one on the right side of your screen. Not too many hits to go around at this point in the ballgame. So one away here in the Reds' half of the eighth. And into bat next, it'll be Tyler Naquin. The 1-1 home is looked at for ball number two. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage of it. Yeah, you know, d one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one-out base runner. Now back. Get the ball for this man. He needs to put that on the mantle. He's been struggling. The season hasn't gone according to plan. 
but he's staying pot committed and grinded out a nice knock. And the count will be full. The 3 2 pitch. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Whit Merrifield next to hit. Lifetime against Andrew Miller. He's hitless in three at bats. Daniel Espino will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 15, Daniel. Runners are at first and second with one away. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Phillips is there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. In now for the Reds, Leonardo Rivas. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at-bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. Reds strand a couple. They're down five. It's seven to two. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. A one and one count, here's the pitch. drive and that's a base hit in the center field so a productive start to the inning for the tribe as their leadoff hitter is aboard the catcher, hey this guy's obviously 17. seeing the ball right now that's Off another there. hard hit single three for catcher. four right there he's looking super solid at the plate next here is Austin Hedges no hits for him yet in the game despite his team's offensive onslaught a one and two count to the Indians catcher Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Pretty standard pitch sequence right there. Just how you draw it up in a perfect world. Jump ahead 0 and 2, and then you toss a changeup in the dirt to get him to chase for a strikeout on three pitches. If only it were always that easy. to the plate now Jose Ramirez two and one to Jose Ramirez ground ball sent back up the middle there's Merrifield relay to Votto's in time at first and it's a double play side retired Indians fail to score Oliver Perez comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Oliver Perez. Ready now is Jesse Winker. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And the flip will go to Perez at the bag for the out. The right fielder, number two, Nick Castellano. Nick Castellanos now. The matchup numbers with Oliver Perez. He's one for four. Bases are empty, one man out. In there, one and two now. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Phillips is there, two gone. The first baseman, number 19, Joey Votto. Now with the plate is Joey Votto. 
He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. A bouncer up the middle. Scooped up. Throw on to first to be in time. And the Indians have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Well, in a quick series like this, you take the first one, you're guaranteed at least a split. They'll take that every single time. And this evening's ends at a 7-2 finish. Cleveland earn home victory number 50 on the season. Tristan McKenzie earns win number 15 on the year as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.